Karibuni, I'm a Kuru, eh, Kari, Kari, Karibuni. If you were new, Karibuni, I go by the name of Miriam, but you can call me African Mimi. And if you're a regular subscriber, thank you for coming back to my channel. Guys, today I'll be giving you tips on how I grew my hair in just a year. Yes, one year. <laughs> but currently now it's one year and some months. I'm going to two years. In a few months, I'll be two years by now. So I went bald one year and some months ago. It was a very big decision I made. <laughs> it was a huge decision for me to go bald because I had good hair already. It's just that, let's just wait for the wind. <laughs> wow, let me show you guys. You see the wind? You see how it's blowing the tree? Oh, guys, nature is beautiful. So I'm in this beautiful park. The ducks are just right there. The geese, geese, ducks. I don't know the difference. Yeah. Get back to the video. <laughs> So as I was saying, it was a very big decision I decided to take because I I lost my edges and my hair wasn't growing as it was supposed to. I had a lot of heat damage. So I'll be sharing with you guys what I did to help grow my hair strong and healthy. So let's start off with number one, yeah? When it comes to natural hair, I would advise you to do firstly do research to know different types of hair different textures because one thing about natural hair no matter the products you use if you do not have the know-how which is the knowledge on how to take care of your hair then you're gonna struggle and have difficulties combing your hair difficulties maintaining the length having length retention which is maintaining the length you know so try research when i mean research basically knowing natural hair there's different hair types type one two three and four i am type 4b slash type 4c which is uh different curl patterns so the front of my hair is type 4 4c which are very tight curl patterns and then the back of my hair is type 4c and they the curl patterns are a bit loose right so i have high porosity hair which means that moisture gets in my hair really quickly and gets out really quickly meaning that my hair needs to constantly be hydrated and moisturized compared to somebody that has low porosity hair meaning that moisture gets in their hair takes really takes time to get in their hair so they need to even apply heat for example if they put conditioner they need to apply heat so that the conditioner can penetrate right and then moisture stays longer for them compared to me right so you need to know what type of hair you have you need to know if you have high porosity low porosity or medium porosity so that once you know the type of porosity you have you can be able to know how to use the different methods which is lco and loc so lco is for low porosity meaning liquid uh, cream and an oil and then i am high porosity so it's going to be loc which is liquid oil then a cream because I explained that moisture comes out really quickly yeah so you need to have a proper hair regime which is a proper hair routine that works well for you the only reason we shampoo our hair and condition is because normally our hair is oily and dirty that's the reason why you have to shampoo your hair and if you have type 1 and type 2 hair types normally your hair gets really oily within three days so a weekly weekly shampooing is necessary but for people like us, which is type 3 and type 4 hair, our hair takes time to get oily and dirty. So I'll suggest you have um, bi-weekly wash days or once a month, okay? Everyone's hair is different, but whatever works for you, works for you. I normally wash my hair once in two weeks or once a month, depending on the hairstyle I have, and it works for me. And have in mind that there is no specific product that is going to grow your hair. What you need to make sure is have low manipulation hairstyle. What do I mean? I mean hairstyles that does not require 
harsh friction on your scalp like you do you could do corn rolls or twist you know you don't have to constantly be doing braids or something that will pull your scalp or you know even these hairstyles for natural girls the high puff do that sometimes because it really pulls your hairline especially if you tight it really hard that's why i try my best to always leave my hair open just for it to breathe those are the mistakes i made prior to going bold i always used to do those high puffs and my hairline was thinning all the time it was getting thin day by day which is very unhealthy so just limit that limit heat i wouldn't say completely stop you can have heat but use heat protectant before blow drying your hair that's best just use heat protectant then blow dry preferably uh, blow dry your hair probably twice to four times a year personally since i went bald i only blow dried my hair once and then if i want to stretch my hair out i normally use the the wool thread method and then i keep that for one day then the next day i just open it like today and then it stretched for me i didn't have to use heat for the first six months after i went bold i didn't really have like cash to buy all these hair products you know natural hair products let's be honest they are a bit pricey they are quite pricey and i didn't have that type of hefty budget so i started off on a strict natural products natural 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 so i was using a lot of fenugreek seeds fenugreek powder aloe vera plant and the only store bought stuff i was using was shampoo i'm gonna put a picture i was using organic shampoo and conditioner i was using plus protein shampoo and conditioner and avon coconut shampoo and conditioner normally i'll get them in sets like for the plus protein two was 60 rand and then um for avon two was 90 rand the shampoo and conditioner and then for organics two of them was 120 quite affordable and it lasts quite a long time so yeah personally the oils that i prefer using yeah i've got high porosity so i'm supposed to be using the heavy oils right but i have only used olive oil and sunflower oil only i make fenugreek seed oil and clove oil with that olive oil or the sunflower oil i just like infuse all the seeds inside and then strain them out and that's my oil and it has been working for me so let me mention the the, the products i've been using so you guys can have an idea as i said i used fenugreek seeds fenugreek seeds fenugreek powder uh cloves aloe vera gel i use black chick as a hair food I, yeah pretty much that that's all i've been using to grow my hair i didn't use all those like popular oils like your black jamaican castor oil i've heard about that oil so much hey and i've never used it <laughs> so it's it shows that it's not about the product it's about the consistency and having the know-how which is the knowledge on how to take care of your hair so it's not about the jamaican black castor oil it's about how you take care of your hair you can use that oil and not take care of your hair and not see any growth and then use that oil take care of your hair and see massive growth the other thing that is so important is scalp massages once you apply moisture inside your scalp like hydration which is water then you apply an oil make sure you massage your scalp your scalp needs it because it helps with blood circulation and once your blood is circulated all over your scalp it helps with hair growth try it it's gonna really help especially your edges you know everywhere massage 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 it's gonna help trust me stop i know this will sound cliche but please stop comparing your hair growth with somebody else <laughs> that's a big no no remember we all have different genetics and when it comes to hair growth it's all dependent on your genetics we can both use the same product and my hair can grow faster than yours or your hair can grow faster than mine it's just dependent on genetics so when i went bold i told myself you know what i'm gonna be realistic i'm gonna follow content creators with hair length that is achievable for myself also set achievable goals because it's not reasonable for when i was bold to follow somebody that has hair literally probably shoulder length or all the way down to their back it was not reasonable so i was following people that had hair that 
I could achieve, you know. So make realistic, realistic goals. Okay, if you have bold, probably tell yourself I want it to be two inches by this time, or I want it to be four inches by this time. Don't tell yourself I have bold within a year, it needs to be here. That's so much pressure, unnecessary pressure. And then, if that doesn't happen, then what? My hair doesn't grow, everybody's hair grows, everyone's hair grows 0 0.5 inches a month, which is six inches. A year so everybody here go and also I'm so against the trimming regularly um, so it's advised to trim your hair four to six weeks honestly speaking if you if you do the calculation and the maths we only grow 0 0.5 inches a month which is six inches a year if I'm trimming four to six inches will I see any length retention will I see any length in my hair no so personally since I went bald, I never, I never trimmed my hair at all. I'm going to trim it though this year, ending of the year. I prefer trim your hair once or twice a year. It's not necessary to constantly trim, but you know what works for you. I got a wind slap. Look. And then people are going to say natural hair doesn't, doesn't move. The wind it moves wow you didn't see my Gary <laughs> Gary <laughs> <laughs> another thing is personally I braid my own hair and it's a skill that I would suggest you learn that's if you're patient enough and if you have the time because the problem with going to hair stylist yeah they pull they don't know how to take care of natural hair they're just so uneducated about natural hair and honestly it's it's not it's not right because you doing hair aren't you supposed to know how to take care of it good question yeah but most of them don't so if it happens you do not know how to braid your hair and you trust hairstylists please make sure you wash your own hair condition it and detangle it Go to the hairstylist with tangle free hair so that you won't experience a lot of pain and tension when they are combing your hair from the root to the ends instead of the ends to the root. How do you start combing someone from here? The pain. Oh my days. What? You come from here to there. Not from there to here. But most of them do not know and it's just unnecessary pain. If you feel pain, speak out. Speak out. This is your money. You can't sit, go to a hairdresser. They are pulling your hair, pulling your scalp. No, they, they can't pull your scalp, can they? No. <laughs> they are pulling your hair literally like it's coming out of your scalp and you are quiet because you are scared. And then you're going to pay all that money. Then after you remove the hair style, you don't have hair no more. Switch on, switch on, switch on. Wakey, 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 wakey. <laughs> if you want to see hair retention, you need to speak out, man. It's your money. If you feel like it's too tight, you tell the person, the person continues, stand up and leave. Leave. Why are you still sitting? Love your shrinkage form. I had to unlearn that shrinkage means unhealthy hair, unmanageable hair. Love it. When your hair is in the shrinkage form, it's actually low maintenance. You just need to spray and moisturize it. Yeah, learn to love it. Your hair can bounce back and be stretched. So love it when it's in the shrinkage form. Don't be scared of shrinkage. Natural hair is that beautiful. We can have different forms of how to style our hair. We can have it shrinkage. We can stretch our hair. We can flat iron it. Guys, we have a variety of options. Do not limit yourself and if you, it happens that you are missing with some vitamins I'd advise get some vitamin pills or consume fruits that contain the vitamins that you are lacking like for example someone that is lacking iron you need to take iron pills which will help your blood circulation so that your hair will grow if you are lacking vitamin C take vitamin C pills or just consume a lot of citrus fruits like lemon orange you know so if you're lacking vitamins, please make sure you increase 
your vitamin intake so that your hair grows and also guys you need to drink a lot of water a lot of water because whatever you take inside reflects outside so if you are not drinking enough water if you are not eating healthy foods then it's gonna definitely show on the outside i would really advise have a healthy diet if it means eat really healthy four times a week then unhealthy three times a week do what works for you personally i'm a very healthy person so i really eat healthy like probably five to six times a week and drink a lot of water two liters upwards a day it's going to help not only with your help on your hair but it will also help your skin you can see my skin melanin popping melanin skin the other thing i would say is have a bonnet before sleeping it's gonna help all the products you apply on your hair not to penetrate onto your pillowcases a bonnet is necessity especially now they're quite affordable so there's no excuse for you not to have it if you don't have it what is your problem hmm? <laughs> you have high porosity hair i'd advise you to have protein treatments way regularly than low porosity hair what I'd advise, after you shampoo your hair, then you condition, then have a protein treatment. So you could do protein treatment like four times a month if you are having high porosity hair. Because it's going to help moisture stay in. Remember, we lose moisture very easy, so protein helps you know, maintain the moisture from within. And also consume a lot of protein products, a lot of protein foods like your eggs, fish, chicken beans soya means what else has protein yeah all the protein stuff if you have low porosity hair have a low protein treatment routine probably do it once or twice a month okay when i mean have a protein treatment here yeah, so you could mix avocado eggs rice water and an oil of your choice mix it up apply it on your hair leave it for an hour then rinse it out that's really gonna help that's what i mean when i say protein treatment so yeah that was how i grew my hair i hope you try my advices and comment down below if it works for you i'd really love to know please don't forget to like share and subscribe and share this with anyone that wants to grow their hair and you know they're just wondering how to do it how to navigate it share this with them share this with them please please bye see you in my next video thank you for watching you are appreciated